What up guys, Paradox back with more tech support. We're gathered here today to kind of go over the Freestar lower intake because it is the lost gem of the V6 Mustang world. So when you guys are driving around in the 3.8s and the 3.9s, um, there was a whole nother era of Essex actually after the Mustangs. And when I loved my Mustang so much, I kind of got into the 05 to 08 era and I didn't understand the difference because there isn't much information on it. So I kind of head over heels, went into this engine and figured it all out. I'm bringing it to you guys. So you'll see a few people out there running the Freestyle lower intake, but it's technically as different as you can kind of build um, away from the Mustang OEM setup. When you're looking at it, um, it is going to have an output in the uh, outflow outlet in the back for your um, outlet to your heater core uh, as well as be able to accept the Mustang system to do that with minor fabrication I'll show you in a minute so um, when it comes out there is two big deals right here is, is that number one there is two outlines so when you look on the inside you're gonna come to realize that there is a, um, a stopper stopping the port flow from this and it goes down and through the intake and out these at a regulated um, non-pressurized flow and it goes through this outlet at a pressurized flow when the thermostat opens so from here on out I'll kind of reference it as is when it's hot and when it's cold so like when it's cold these are all going to be flowing and then when it's hot and the actual thermostat has to open up this line is going to get us a, a good amount extra of pressurized flow so when it comes down to what you're going to want to cross out in between um, a non-pressurized line and a pressurized line, you're going to have to get rid of the non-pressurized line because if you try to block this off, it's just not going to be happy when you open the thermostat, really kind of putting direct shot into that. So you could come out of this, but that's the reason why optimally you're going to, by design, want to take this one out. So you're relieving the flow and it, it's actually allowing what would be this part of the design to get that flow of what would be coming out of the front. So it's actually evening out the lower intake for the Mustang design by utilizing this outlet um, for the water pump to the water pump um, than this one. So what you're going to end up having to do is plugging it off in whatever way necessary. So there's several ways. Um, I've looked at it. You can pull it down and tap it. Uh, this is my original intake construction. So I did this all on the vehicle. So when you see this, you can build this as it sits in the car. You know what I mean? I didn't have to pull this off to, you know, um, I used a piping cutter. So like you can go to Home Depot and use uh, find the little cutter that you cinch around this and you tighten it. And as you tighten it and spin it, it will cut this off. And that's what I used to cut that off with it on the vehicle without making metal shards everywhere. So when it came down to that part, what I did was is I left a bit exposed to be able to put the cap on it. But then at the same time, I put a socket covered in JB Weld on the inside to make a full plug so that the pressure is relieved of at the joint for your plug or your plug's going to blow off. So it's basically making a, a cork and a plug that will cut this off if you need totally fabricated me means necessary. You're not going to, you know, tap it and um, cap that off, which would probably be the ideal way to do it, which I should have did. But, you know, I was at the time, we're just going to make it happen. So on the differences between the Freestar and the, um, the Mustang lower. So number one is you're going to see my thermostat inlet housing is, is going to be different. So like your guys is, is going to have the, um, you know, the 45 out of here and, um, to go over your belt line where mine is, my belt line is right here. So with the Freestar belt line, this goes right through the belt line. Um, so that's when you put the Freestar lower intake on the Mustang with the lower, uh, with the lower intake free or er, thermostat inlet housing you are going to need a universal um upper radiator hose that goes from here to your radiator so with this one um there is some fabrication necessary but so now that we've gone over what i'm even going to call minor that's pretty minor fabrication of what you need to do to make a, a intake work from the way it shows up to the way that it comes on the car so the thing is, is i actually pulled this directly off my vehicle to show you guys this video so we're going to look at the two stages so this is like when you get it from a junkyard and you know there's nothing on it you still got to put the Mustang hose on and when it comes out the back the first thing you got to do is is that this doesn't match up this hole right here so when you put it in the outlet you actually got to drill that hole right there if you see it so it's going to be right here 
you know, so when I push this down, it's not going to line up to the hole. So you can push it, this down, hit it with the drill, and basically just sink it with a, you know, a, a M8 by 1.25 standard Ford bolt or whatever that is right there, likely. So um, that's the easiest part is you can just sink that. You can get these off. I, this was off a of 99. I don't know if um, they're all the same. The one thing that I do know is, is that it's got to fit this part. So when you get this from your junkyard or pull off your vehicle, the first thing you're going to want to do is pull this off and make sure that this fits in your Freestar. Because if I remember right, there was a couple that I tried that didn't work, but I have all kinds of Essex parts here. So I didn't know what they were from. So I don't know if they were from a Windstar, Freestar, F-150, you know, the Mustang, whatever ones there. I got 25 of them here. So I'm just pulling them out and I know that it's one of them. Um, so that's the main thing is, is being able to pipe to your heater core. And then, uh, so intake manifold runner control. These do come standard with intake manifold runner control. I would suggest you keep it, especially because by design, um, you know, as I went over in my other video, that on these ones, you're going to have the design where when it's coming down the bank from the runner it's literally going down in a direct path and then um with these it's able to split off into the other bank through a, uh, a splitting port um this is where i call the ultimate advantage of the freestar intake is a knife edge porting job so i did this with a file the big difference in between that and the way they come is here's the way they come so when you see that right there and you can kind of understand that, you know, there's some restriction right there. It's really not a lot. And it's not even as much as uh, what would be on the split port runners of your um, your Mustang manifold. But it's made by design to be offset. So when the air is coming down the bank is my light would, it's made to split only by excess volume of air into that side of the pocket. So when by design, your manifold runner control, which is this valve, this valve, and, you know, this one that's already shut, um, it's able to by design get good flow down when there's low amounts of volume in it, low end torque. That's how you're getting a huge amount of torque that comes with the Mustang. It's that design right there. So, um, when it comes out down to that restriction, so when I originally dealt with this manifold, this has paint on here from the upper intake. So I was able to set an upper intake on this, turn it upside down and then shoot primer down the, uh, the ports from right here at the intake and what it did is I was able to see on the intake a ring of what I want to take off you know and at the same time I'm going to be in there scrubbing it's just primer it's made to come off so like primer worked really good for marking my stuff if you're not using like a whiteout because my whiteout wouldn't dab in there this far and I couldn't really nail it out so or like a fingernail polish that works great too to hit but it's an acrylic so that's a little thicker than a whiteout or like a primer or a primer is just made to come off so um that is the difference in between what would be what I'm calling a knife edge port job and OEM. So when it comes down to like the actual amount of airflow that this regular is a cylinder volume with the Freestar intake is able to flow. It's just so much more than the Mustang. And like this is where all the torque is coming from. This is where the high end horsepower is coming from. By design, it is just totally different as a cannon right before the cylinder. So when it comes to the knife port job. You know, so this is going to be as it comes down the bank into that. And then as the volume increases, hit a knife port. So these are sick. The reason why I really like this was is the fact that from the bottom, I could hit it with a file. I was actually able to put this up in from the bottom and hit that edge. And it was super fast and easy. I didn't have to use a porting bit. This whole thing was probably done in four hours. And uh, I want to say that that's going to exceed the amount of torque that you can get from any other modification um, with your split port design. So, I mean, like when it comes down to it, that is going to be about the best mod you can get without taking your heads off. So... Throw that on with uh, your upper intake and, you know, your throttle body, whatever you want to swap out. I'm going to do everything on the upper intake and show you guys how to throw a throttle on there because that's the only pain is, is that the throttle is a front mount on a Freestar. If you just want to have a front mount throttle with the cable coming out towards your um, radiator, it's quick and easy. But other than that, it's a pain in the ass. So you got to make a mount plate on the top. So this is the big difference between a... OEM Freestar, a fully ported polished knife ported or knife edge ported lower Freestar 
and your OEM. So I'm glad I could show you guys what it takes to kind of plumb this thing in, what the routing and volume ways it goes is, and hey, have a great time building.